Hey everybody, and welcome. Welcome to a new series. Uh, as you can see from the uh, screen here, we're going to be getting into some Hollow Knight. Uh, I've been following this game for a while, since it came out uh, in 2017. It is just beautiful. Uh, the music is beautiful, the art style is beautiful. Um, and so I decided that it was time to take a crack at it. Metroidvanias and platformers are not really my uh, strong suit, but um, I did a little, um, little test playing, um, to see how it would feel, and, uh, I was definitely pleased with it, and, um, so we're gonna do it. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna get right into it, we're gonna listen, so that's the save, that's my, like, save I did just messing around. So, but yeah, we're just gonna enjoy it, and, um, I'm gonna go for true ending, and uh, I didn't get it. It's a base game, no DLC, and uh, if you don't know anything about the game, I invite you to just to soak it in as I play through it and enjoy it along with me. Wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under Palos Watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast, as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hellenist by Monomon the Teacher. So cute. Yeah, so as you can see, we are the knight. This little dude with the kind of bug looking mask. This is our trusty weapon, the needle. Bounce strike there, that's nice. We can jump around, we can strike things with our needle and we can heal we can hit enemies and gain soul that goes into that little sphere up there and uh, when we have soul we can use that to heal up or power spells that we'll get later Platforming in this game is very, like, um, it's very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not sticky, but, like, like when I'm jumping, if I stop moving the stick, I literally stop dead right where I am in the air. Like, there's no, like, momentum to jumps. Like, you, you have perfect, like, you have perfect, like, horizontal control in the air. Like, I can... That can take some getting used to if it's not uh, like a physics style that you're used to. You can also downstrike against things and give yourself a little boost. As long as they're actual physical objects to hit. Oh, darn it. Okay. Alright. Okay, getting used to the controls again. Oh, oh. Spike. Ah, 
higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies when soul is collected. Hold B to focus soul and heal. Just said that. I love the way he moves, just like, all his movements are just like, so perfectly animated, just, and they're so like, like, they evoke so much with like, so, so little motion, you know? Like, there's very little to the character model, and his movements are very like, simpl simplistic, I would say? But they just communicate so much with, with such a small amount of like, fuss. Oh. There's a cocoon. Oh. Gives you this like blue, like Finding of Isaac style soul hearts. Oh, we fell. We fell, and now we cannot get back up. Which is a clever way of the game telling us that m movement abilities are going to be a thing that we're gonna we're gonna be needing. Yeah, if you die to spikes, it'll... What? Okay. Oh, right, this is just... Okay. I thought I would, like, put next to the... If you die to spikes, it resets you back at the last, like, solid platform you were on. Darn it. There is a way to do this. Okay. Alright, stop. I'm gonna die trying to sh show off that you can do this, so I'm gonna stop that now and actually just jump from platform to platform. Ah, see, we're finding secrets. Okay. Okay. Well, we're not gonna do that anymore because we're about to die. Beings is just free alone. Beyond this point, you end the land of king and creator. Step across the threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallownest. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna be saying that a lot in this game, by the way. <laughs> I love their voices. Oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me to left off or welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt a ruin, yet it still draws folks into the depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. <laughs> I'm sure you, too, seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Ooh, foreboding. I'm gonna rest on this bench, heal up. Benches in this game are basically Dark Souls bonfires. Kind of how they uh, work. Oh, look at this. For all your mapping supplies, we'll be opening soon to Zelda and Cornifer. Touch that, that might be important. And down we go. Stop. Okay. Okay.
what's in here? Temple of the Black Egg. Oh, hello, sir. Naminobis. Naminobis. Hello there. How delightful to be in another tribal age forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marbles lie even deeper below us. Who knows indeed. So we got this like door looking thing with these three heads on it. That might be useful later. For so long I felt drawn here, so many details full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. To persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Though that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. Goa. Did you pass the town above? What a gloomy little place, and such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose that's why they've all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? Hmm. Truly a marvel. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we've exhausted your dialogue. Let's go. Big guy. Time, folks, we are the kings of the video game. And a grub! Hey! We'll figure out what that was for later. Just remember, there's nothing in the world. I can't I cannot abide a sad dad. We're gonna find the sad dad of that grub somewhere around here. our way around this little forgotten crossroads area and see if we can find maybe maybe there's somebody around here with a map or something that would help us find our way around and see what we're doing in this crazy mixed up world trouble I get in is that I insist on 
down striking enemies that don't need to be down struck. Grubman! Aww. Aww. He's happy now because I rescued one of his children. See all these? We gotta find all of them. No, we don't. We're not gonna. We don't have to find all of them, but I'm gonna find as many as I can because I cannot abide a sad dad. Oh, so cute. When you pick up the Geo, it's almost like it's like the sound of coins. Like it's like their coins. I have come somewhat full circle. Now. All right, Black Egg Temple. Oh, you already been here. cannot be yet because we don't have something that we need that's what I was trying to demonstrate earlier by the way at least now we know that's there Yep, I hear him. Oh. I love this dude. Oh, Dunchatsuna. Dunchatsuna. Hmm, ah, uh, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. Aren't we? I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? I certainly would love to purchase a map of this area. Chocolate. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest pur purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth. Selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell you some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. Uh, by the way, uh, Cornifer and Aselda is one two is one true pairing. Like they are the best couple in video gaming. 
Oh, oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts, you forget the nice ease of conversation. Dude, mood, bro. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife. A huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again and be safe and farewell. I love this man. So, here's the first, like, decision. Do you go back up and get the map right away? Or do you get the compass right away? Or do you keep exploring a little bit? Well, let's, like, pop down into the left and just kind of, just kind of, you know... Can't resist. Oh, and I've fallen. You gotta get that practice in whenever you can, you know. Oh, mistimed it. Oh, okay. You know? Fair play. Fair play game. You know, buttons. Hitting the correct ones will yield the result that you want. Yeah, jump right into it, why don't you? Oh, new enemies. Got these infection sacks on them. I hear a grub. I must rescue the grubs. Mama, mama, mama. Gotta rescue the grubs, man. What kind of a person are you if you don't rescue all the grubs? Can you even call yourself a human being? Or a bug? Still hear you, Mad Man. Might as well oh, get as much geo as we can right now. And then go back up and purchase some map mappy things. Because I want to be able to get the compass as soon as possible. No! Stop doing that! Oh, secrets. I love secrets. Right here. Oh, hot springs and a burnch. So these hot springs, they refill your soul all the way up to the top. And, oh, rest in the bench. Even, and, and this is the best part. When you look at the map, look at the knight. He literally pulls up the map and looks at it. Isn't that so cute? Well, I think it's cute, alright. You don't have to think it's cute. Oh no, an arena. Oof. They're too good. How do you, how do you beat them? See, here's another example. There's a ledge you can't get to. Obviously, we're gonna find 
movement abilities. This is a Metroidvania. It's the literal bedrock of Metroidvania gameplay is areas gated, progression gated off by movement abilities that you don't have yet. to find the first night station. Alright, so we got ourselves another branch. Specs. It's all machine with the symbol of a stag. It's her Geo. I certainly will. What's up, man? The last stag. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. <laughs> and let's go back to Dirtman. See you later, buddy. Ring the bell for you. Lifty lift here. That open this door here. And a boom, we're back in the dirt. Where's that music coming from? I never thought I'd see such a thing as Stag Station is open. That building was silent since before even my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lines and web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. You know, buddy, more people were like you. Hey, it's a Zelda. <sighs> Bapanada. Bapanada. I just love how much characterization they can give a bug with, like, no words just like nonsense words just but you could just look at her and tell she's just not thrilled at all with this like retail situation <laughs> come to buy a map have you it's really my husband you should be dealing with but what a surprise he's headed down below he'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store but i do wish he'd spend a little more time up here i have not much interest in retail myself Aww. now let's see what's here for me to sell well, we definitely want the quill so we can update our map boom done do we have enough to buy the compass? No, we don't. That is sad. But, not tragic. We'll get there. Ah, Mobadis. Mobadis. 
Of all the places to end up, we picked this dreary town. I thought it a temporary stop, then my husband came and became obsessed with that old ruin. Now he's spending all his time down there. He argues cartography is sound business, but other than you, who's buying? That is a good point. <laughs> Now we can update our map. Now the parts that we've been to are filled in. something big and scary in the middle there. You know what that means. He's gonna, gonna go get it. And that is gonna do it for our first episode of Hollow Knight. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, <clears throat> If you did enjoy our first look at Hollow, Hollow Knight here, you can click that like button, uh, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified when uh, more of these videos go live. It really does help out a great deal, and uh, I'm appreciative for any uh, viewership. Um, yeah, but we'll see you next time.